Ciao ragazzi, I'm Danilo and welcome back to another video. So, we have to talk about something. We need to stop those guitarists who say Yo, switch out the money is so easy, man. And then proceed to fake that very lick in the guitar solo, because actually, it's not very easy to play correctly. And if you are one of them, it's okay, doesn't matter. I've been there myself. We are all here to learn something, right? For this video, I'm gonna use this very interesting guitar. It's called the GTRS powered by Moore. And all the sounds you're gonna hear comes directly within the guitar. There is no need for an amp or a plugin. How cool is that? This is how it sounds when the guitar is turned off. But then, if we turn this magic knob... This is how it sounds. Pretty cool, right? At the moment, this guitar is still available on the Indiegogo campaign. I will leave a link down in the description below in case you wanna check it out. But we're gonna talk about this guitar later in this video. Now, let's get into the infamous Sweet Child of Mine leak. Okay, so that was the leak. Okay, bye. Nah, just kidding. We're gonna break it down and I'll show you slowly how to play it. Just remember you can find the tab and backing track of this and all of my videos on my Patreon page. While the first part of the solo is played on the neck pickup, for this part you're gonna use the bridge pickup. It is better if you have an unbucker. And the guitar is tuned in E-flat tuning, just like the original record. And you're also gonna need a wah pedal. Just bear in mind that in the record there are actually two different tracks playing at the same time. It goes like this. So you can't make it sound exactly 100% like the original record when you are playing live, but it's okay. Let's start by splitting this lick in three different sections. This is the first one. This is the second one. And the last one. For the first note, Slash use a very slight palm muting, like this. Okay? You also need to pay attention to hammer on, pull off and slides. You don't have to pick every note. I've seen plenty of tabs doing this. But it's actually wrong. Slash it's not bending the 10th fret, but it is actually a slide from the 10th to the 12th. I really recommend you to use your pinky here. Just because now you have this stretch and it is easier to play it that way. Okay, now let's move to the section number two. In this case, you're gonna pick the first three notes and then slide up two frets using your pinky. Then you do the same thing. But you slide just one fret instead of two. Now you have this. Okay, almost everyone I've seen playing this solo play this last part like this. So it repeats the D notes instead of the D sharp. But it is actually wrong. The right note is the D sharp. The first notes are all hammer on and pull off. Then you pick. 
if you don't believe me that the actual note Slash uses is the D sharp, you can, you can take a quick listen to the record. Okay, now let's move to the section number three, which is the last one and very quick. It's just an hammer on and pull off from 12 to 14 on the E string. 15 on the B string. Again, 12. Then you have a full bend on the 15 frets of the B string. You release. 12, 12 frets on the same string. And again, another full bend at the 15th fret. So slowly it goes like this. Okay, now let's hear how it sounds from the beginning. That's it, that was the full lick, note for note like the original record. We have no excuses now. If you are interested in this guitar, like I said, it's called the GTRS powered by Moore. This guitar is very innovative and futuristic, and the best thing about it is that you don't need an amplifier, plugin or whatever. The sounds are already built in in the guitar. Using the companion app, you can browse through a lot of different presets and store the ones you like in the guitar. You can then use this magic knob to switch between those presets just by pressing it. Not only that, but this guitar has also another incredible feature. In fact, you can emulate different guitars just by using the pickup selector. For example, let's just say you want a Les Paul type of sound on the unbucker pickup and a Strat type guitar for the bridge. Assign it in the app and boom, there you go. There are a lot of different guitars to choose from. At the moment, this guitar is only available via the Indiegogo campaign and it's retailing at $400 for early bidders, which at the moment is a bargain. This is gonna cost more when the campaign is over. So if you are interested in one of these, I'd be fast if I were you. Check out the link in the description. Okay, that was it for today's video. I hope you find it useful and learn something new. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!